Hello again, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today we will speak for short minutes regarding the Airbus A320 engine feed system, normal description and operation. We will see how the fuel are coming or is coming from the aircraft fuel tank, center tank and wing tank and supply the engine. This gallery that you see right now is an engine feed gallery. Engine feed gallery. What is meant by engine feed gallery? Engine feed gallery is uh, 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 pipes or tubes that connect together the fuel booster pump and some components to supply fuel to the engine. Our aim or our main target is to supply fuel, fuel supply line to the engine, supply line to the, supply fuel to the engine. Okay, so, as you know, fuel is going to the engine first from the center tank. When the center tank is empty, fuel is going to the engine or fuel is supplied by wing tank inner cell, wing tank inner cell. And then, when the wing tank inner cell fuel going to low level, and the low level sensor become dry, fuel is going from the outer cell to the inner cell through two inter cell transfer valve. Two inter cell transfer valve. How fuel is going from the outer cell to the inner cell? By opening of this inter cell transfer valve. So fuel is going by gravity from the outer cell to the inner cell. From the outer cell to the inner cell. Okay, everybody. So, here, as you can see, the collector cell is between rib 1 and rib 2. And the inner cell is between rib 2 and rib 15. Outer cell between rib 15 and rib 22. And the vent surge tank, left vent surge tank, is between rib 22 and rib 26. Okay, so let's say it again. You need to remember that fuel consumption are from the root to the tip. We finish first the fuel from the center tank, then from the inner cell, then from the outer cell. Why we do like that or why? Uh, fuel consumption are from the root to the tip to always have to always have fuel at the wing tip or in the wing to reduce bending stresses to reduce bending stresses okay everybody so what about the booster bump fuel booster bump we have two booster bump located in the center tank by the way in the Airbus A321, this electrical booster bump in the center tank are removed. This is due to the fuel tank safety and the CDCCL regulation. But in the old Airbus A320 Classic, we have center tank electrical booster bump. They are located in a canister. They are located in a canister. Okay. Also, we have wing tank fuel booster bump wing tank fuel booster bumps they are located in the collector cell what is the collector cell wing tank collector cell it is located between rib 1 and rib 2 this collector cell are designed to always be full of fuel we have seven clag valve as you can see here. These arrows represent seven clag valve that allow fuel to go from the wing tank to the collector cell and not to outside. To keep this collector cell full of fuel at any time with any maneuver, with any G load, with any turbulence because always we need the wing tank booster bump or the electrical booster bump submerged in fuel and to always have the fuel from the booster bump to the fuel supply line to the engine always have fuel to prevent engine flame out so in order to always have the wing tank full fuel booster bump submerged in fuel 
we have this collector cell wing tank collector cell to always have the wing tank fuel booster pump submerged in fuel to prevent any uh, ignition coming from the pump and to prevent any operation of this pump with a dry tank or without fuel without fuel uh, 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 without fuel in the in the tank okay everybody so what is the difference between the wing tank fuel booster pump and the center tank booster pump the wing tank fuel booster pump has what it called a sequence valve what is the function of this sequence valve this sequence valve give preferential supply from the center tank pump this sequence valve give preferential supply to the center tank pump this is to allow the pressure of fuel coming from the center tank pump always higher than the wing tank fuel booster pump in order to empty and in order to allow the center tank to be emptied first to be emptied first okay so first the wing tank uh, uh, booster pump wing tank booster pump submerged in the collector cell has a sequence valve has a sequence valve but the center tank electrical booster pump don't have a sequence valve so that the pressure coming from the center tank electrical booster pump always higher than the wing tank fuel booster pump okay everybody as you can see the engine fuel feed gallery is divided into two main independent gallery the left hand gallery and the right hand gallery what is divided these two gallery the cross feed valve cross feed valve the cross feed valve is operated by two electrical motors actuator electrical actuator and operated by two electrical motor has a visual indicator on the valve body okay and this cross feed valve normally close for normal operation if all bump are operating and all engines are operating so that the left booster pump supplies the left engine or engine number one and the right booster pumps supply engine number two but in any case of engine failure or engine stop like engine number one stop or like some booster pump fail any pump can supply any engine thanks to the cross feed valve so that if some bump uh, suffer from a failure so that any bump like just this bump one bump from the six pump can supply the both engine both engine also in case of engine failure we will only have now one engine operating so that we are going to open the cross feed valve allow the left hand and right hand uh, gallery to supply the operating engine to have fuel consumption in balance situation because we are afraid from imbalance or unbalance between both tanks between both tanks okay also what you are see here from this schematic everybody the pressure switches we have pressure switches monitor the bump outlet pressure of the wing tank fuel booster bump main fuel bump pressure switches also we have here a line from the bump to the pressure switch center tank booster bump also another line from the center tank booster bump to the center tank fuel bump pressure switch so what we see here that the location of the pressure switch is outside the tank at the rear bar of the tank why the pressure switch is located outside the tank so that it is not an essential electrical component 
and due to the regulation of the fuel tank safety and the CDCCL regulation, we need to put any unessential electrical component outside the fuel tank so that we need to prevent any spark generation from happening inside the fuel tank. So that there is a sense line from the pump or sense outlet from the pump to the pressure switch. To the pressure switch. Okay, everybody. So the main function of this booster pump is to supply fuel to the engine. Supply fuel to the engine. What other function these electrical booster pump do? This electrical booster pump give a motive force to what, what is called jet pump. You see here, jet pump in the center tank. Another jet pump in the center tank. And we have here also jet pump here in the outer cell. So these jet pumps are mechanical jet pump, need a motive force to operate and to suck fuel. Okay, so this center tank booster pump, sorry, this center, uh, uh, again, this center tank booster pump give motive force to this jet pump. And the other center tank booster pump give motive force to this jet pump. So what is the function of this jet pump? is to mix fuel and water from the tank lowest point and allow this fuel and water go to the booster bump inlet, booster bump inlet. So thanks to this jet bump, they are always allow the water to be mixed inside the fuel, to allow the percentage of water in the fuel to be very low so that we prevent engine flame out you know water quantity are always inside fuel but what is a good behavior that this water must be mixed in all the fuel so the function of this jet pump is to mix the water from the lowest point with all the fuel inside the tank and supply fuel to the center tank pump okay but what other function this jet bump in the outer cell do? This jet bump in the outer cell have motive force from the wing tank bump and allow any fuel surged from the wing tank to the surge tank go back again from the surge tank to the outer cell. From the surge tank to the outer cell okay everybody also I need to say the inter cell transfer valve inter cell transfer valve they are operated by actuator and their actuator electrical actuator not inside the tank it is it will be located outside the tank so that the electrical component is reduced to be inside the wing tank okay everybody why i'm always speaking about we need to reduce the electrical component inside the fuel tank this is for fuel tank safety and flammability because you know any fuel tank has a fuel vapor inside and ventilated by air so that we have fuel vapor and oxygen anytime a spark generation happen unfortunately may ignite the fuel vapor and oxygen inside the tank so that for fuel tank safety any unessential electrical component will be located outside the fuel tank maybe on the front spar maybe on the rear spar or maybe at the bottom of the tank at the bottom of the tank so what electrical components are uh, uh, safely or are must located inside the fuel tank they are only fuel quantity indication probes and the fuel level sensors fuel quantity indication probes and the fuel level sensors okay everybody so uh, thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely and stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like these 
to discuss the Airbus A320 aircraft fuel system. Thank you and goodbye.